Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Mods 10. Industrial Foregoing and Ender IO have been added to the pack. Plus, there's one mod that has been added, which um, we're going to try and abuse today. We want to see if it still works. So, let's try that straight away. Um, that is the MMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMM
You need dark steel for that. Why did I not think about this? Okay, well, we make a primitive. Yeah, we can do that now. Primitive alloy smelter. And we can even just stick it here for now. So what is it? It's, sorry, that is reinforced. And you get that from dark steel bars, which come from. Uh, oh, okay. So if you use some sort of coal dust, you can get yourself, and some obsidian with iron. You can get yourself one of, well, yeah. So we need six of these. So should we just do that? Right, there you go. So coal dust, and then we need obsidian. Obsidian. Uh, where is our, there it is. Oh, do we have to actually craft it now? That's annoying. Why is that going to take ages? And why did that stop? That doesn't look right. Is it knackered again? I don't think so. One time compressed. Okay. Okay, weird. We got we got some now. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. Stick that one back in. Strange in it. So we stick those two in just like this, and then get some good old iron. Wherever it's gone. There it is. I'm not sure I really like the um the the compressed stuff, you know, the um the bulk item storage stuff. I'm not sure I like it. I think I prefer drawers. I know a lot of people are actually converting back to drawers because they just are more reliable for one thing. I mean, like the bulk item storage is also quite reliable. It's just recently it's not been that reliable and I don't know, I just I th I think I prefer it is all. So and look, we've got a ton of coal right there, but we've also got like loads of blocks. And I want to see it like that. I want to see the coal, like the, the amount of coal we've got. Anyway, you have to fuel this. Inspector Gadget. Nice. Right, so we can take this now and we can make ourselves the reinforced. And then we don't have to think about grains of infinity. And oh, I just used one of my crying obsidian. Oh, well, all good. So, the reason I don't want to think about this is because normally I use a modular router for it. And you just have a modular router being fed with uh, what they called the flint and steels. Just activating it on a bedrock. And that's kind of a pain in the bum recipe to set up. So, yeah, I'm glad we're not doing that. And I'm actually going to set this one up over here. So, uh, if I do... Yeah, we can put it here. Why not? orientation i always get these ones confused i always thought that the green one was where you're supposed to put the extractor that doesn't make any sense because you can't put it on top of the dragon head oh i don't know maybe um maybe we put this underneath oh maybe wait i have an idea maybe it was um you know what it was i needed to put the extractor back down first so if we do this 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 and then you stick it on top why do you not work? Right, I'm going to try the other one. Ah, this doesn't work either. Um, right, let me try it. Let me just stick it on like that now. Nope. Nope, does not like that. It didn't like it the other way either. So, I think that one might be knackered. Oh, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter if it's, like, working right now or not. As I said, we can just go do it manually for now until it is working. So, and the mod literally just got updated, so I don't expect everything to work straight away. That, that's what you do when you play, like, a beta pack. And this is an alpha pack right now, so. Anyway, let's try and make an alloy smelter. So, that's relatively easy. Uh, we need two dark steel, so we need to do that again with the primitive thingy. So, obsidian. The furnace. That's also a generator. Uh obsidian. There you go. See, now we can put like a stack out at a time. That's really weird, wasn't it? God, this takes ages. I mean it's supposed to take ages to be fair. And we can just break it like that. <laughs> nice. Right, so now we can just do the alloy smelter. Done. And now we can set this up. 
Nice one. Right, now we've got a little bit... Oh, I kind of wanted to use this for Endryo, this area. I mean, we could use over here. This is a good place to do it, I suppose. Endryo. Yeah, right, so I'm going to stick it here. So there's the smelter. We obviously need a sag mill as well. Uh, we need power into these, which, again, we can use gates. I'm getting a little bored of gates. I think a few people mentioned it recently, but... Oh, yeah, we need a capacitor to begin with. So, capacitor. And we actually need it to fill up with power and do stuff before we can do anything else. So, push-pull. And where did the raw titanium come from? That's weird. No idea. Anyway, so this one needs energetic alloy. It also needs... This stuff, which comes from... Okay. 10% chance to get that. And you get sulfur. Okay. Yeah, we could do that. So we need to bookmark this. Uh, and then this one also needs the vibrant alloy, which comes from energetic alloy and enderpearls. Okay, so let's grab wireless. But I can't be asked to run cables over here. <laughs> Being so lazy. Uh, where's the middle? I think there's no middle here. So this is just going to go here. There you go. So take the wireless thingy. Click that one there. And then we need to put this somewhere. I mean, we could put it like here. Yeah, I like that. There you go. Right, now we just need... Pattern Provider. I know we've got the extended ones there, but I kind of want it to not be extended. There's nothing behind this, is there? No. Nice. There you go. So now we can just set up patterns for this. So let's go do that. So that's the alloy smelter, and there's a lot of alloying recipes because there's loads of like, like colorless glass, and then glowstone gets you clear glass, which like gives off light. I wish we got this like a few days ago when I was doing that thing out there. That would have been really cool. I also regret not just using the glass that we've got here because then we could fly straight through like this, but meh, it's all good. So first recipe we're going to do is energetic alloy. So I know that's a really good one to get. We also want the vibrant alloy, so I'll put that one in as well. Uh, I think those are the only two that we need currently. I mean, do we need the... Oh yeah, we need the pulsating alloy as well. Easy enough. And that's all we need, for now at least. Uh, we need a few extra bits later on. Did I not do the capacitor? Okay, yeah, we need to also program in all of the different capacitors. Cause... And, uh, there we go. Yeah, we want to, like, basically get them all to have the highest tier capacitor. You can get better capacitors, by the way, if you were to uh, find them out in the world. Alloy smarter is right at the top. Love it. Nice. And then we can put these ones... In here. Now, basic alloy. Did I? I swear I made one of these a second ago. Has this got it? Oh, it has got it. There you go. So now, if we do a tier three, you can see it does a bunch of stuff right here. Oh, that's going to make it not have enough power, but that's fine because it should finish it before it does anything else. Machine is active. I like that. And we can actually change this so it's on alloy mode only which is what we want to do right there i've changed the configuration so it is input output to the top perfect done right there's a tier three capacitor so this can accept a lot more power and it can hold a lot more power and it's a lot quicker basically on its own without us like using the time wand so next up oh we definitely want to do dark steel as one of the things 
So, I mean, we could do the Dark Steel from Mystical. There's no B for it, which is interesting. Maybe they want you to use... I don't know. Maybe they want you to use Mystical? That's not always... That's never really been the case, though. They would always rather you use bees, in my opinion. Anyway, right. Let's try and do... Sack mill. There we go. Dark steel's coming in. Sack mill is here. Now, get another capacitor on the go because we need another capacitor <laughs> to go in this. And then the last one on the list is the slice and splice. So that does need solarium. It needs energized bimetal gears. Energetic alloy. Okay, so we also need the nugget recipe. Wait a minute. We've already got that right here. Nice. So we need this. Can you not make... Oh, no. Nope. Okay. Oh, I've already got it up here. That's why. Sure. Nice. Because we need it for other stuff as well. We actually need it to make the empty soul vial, which we will right click on a enderman. And then we can turn one of these vibrant crystals, which again, we need to program in. I'm going to go program all of this in actually. So, solarium, we need right there. Uh, we need that to go over there. So we've done that, we've done that, we've done that. We actually need this one, which I'm actually going to change that to one and we're going to ignore the secondaries. So that's for the sag mill. Uh, we need some clear glass. So if I do fused glass, that is just like this. I might, yeah, I'm going to do that one. So that was in this one here. I think it's an alloy. Technically it's an alloy. And then do you need it to be... Okay, that's all you need. So for this, you do need the clear glass and you need the solarium ingot. So I might as well program that one in as well. Travel anchor we can put in as well. What the heck is this conduit binder? Interesting. Okay, I'm going to just bookmark that. Okay, we can do that one as well. Um... Yeah, we need that one. And then we need the conduit binder. That goes in the furnace. And then this one is just made like that. Lovely stuff. Right. That's not even all the stuff I wanted to do right there. So stick these over here. That will make us some travel anchors. In fact, uh, yeah, that one goes in the pattern provider here there we go and then we can oh did i not grab the capacitor there we are so this one was for the sag mill this one is for i think we could put it in here technically i'm gonna put it over here though because it's a smarting recipe these two go in here, and I think we're all good, other than this needs power. Done. Right. Can we do travel anchor? I mean, let's do two. B. There we go. These things are amazing. Honestly, really good. So let's swap that one out right there. And we can call it. Oh, well, actually, let's call it sub. Like submarine, right? And then if we were to put one of these elsewhere. Uh, let's put it over here somewhere. Island. How cool is that? Oh, we've just unlocked, like, unlimited potential right there. 
Uh, I'm actually going to make like an absolute ton of these. I, I overuse these. I do understand that I overuse these, but I like them. They're very good. You put one up here. I can put one down there. Oh, oh, that's a good point. Let's get two of these. I want to try some out, which is instead of using up here, instead of using the elevator block. And then one that's down here. So take these ones and then it always gets me. I think it's open, but no. Right. Get rid of this. The reactor. It kind of is where our reactor was. And then up here we can do SPS. Oh, yes, it does it. It's just like an elevator. And they've even got the, the shift thing that you go all the way down. So we can go to the island. Oh, we can't. Okay, we can. Even if we can't see it, we can go over here. So, and by the way, you can, you can press space. Wait, what? Hello. Where'd he go? I swear there was... I heard the sound of them reloading. Oh, well. All good. So, yeah. Anyway, there you go. So, that, that's pretty good. I can put these all over the place. Now, ideally, what you do is you get yourself the Star for Travelling. That's where we're going to try and... That's what we're going to try and do next. So, Star for Travelling needs a Vibrant Crystal. So, we can do a recipe for that. We also need a recipe for this. This is the soul binder. Although I might not do a recipe for this. We can just do this ourselves. But we do need to make a soul binder. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, soul binder. Is just like that. Okay. There's quite a lot to do this one. So there's this thing. We need to make quite a lot of solarium. Let's make 10 of it. Why not? I like the textures that they've put in. It's very nice. There we go. And then. Get the chassis right there. This one is easy enough to do. There we go. So there's the gears. And the last thing is we need the Z logic controller, which needs the slicing from the slice and splice. So we need that one as well. Okay, that just used up like all the all of the stuff that we needed right there, but that's fine. I'm gonna plonk this here. Oh, we're missing grains of infinity. All right, let's go do that. I wanted to see if like any of these fire things work. Can you actually put fire down? So, was it B? No, you don't actually put fire down. Okay, oh, what about this one? No, it doesn't look like it. All right, let's get our flint and steel out. All right, this is easy enough to be fair. We could just come down here and do this every so often. Although, to be fair, we don't need to do it that often once it's working with the Zycraft stuff. I must have done something stupid with that. I bet you you guys are going to come in and be like, you just didn't do this. And I'm like, you're right, I didn't. Whoops. So that was the, that's the slice and splice, right? And we need the capacitor. That has now got a capacitor in it. Lovely. So we need to use this to make just the... No, not the electrode. We don't want that. Z logic controller. There we go. Or if you're American... You should call it the Z-Logic controller, right? Anyway, so put some axes and shears in. We could technically make some Supremium shears and make a Aldermodium axe. And then that's this never... Yeah, we don't have to do anything with that. I'm going to do that. Here we go. Oh, uh, now it all begins. I think it's this way and this way. I keep doing it the wrong way around. Okay, there we go. And 
And there we go. The reason you use these is because they are unbreakable. Meaning that they don't have durability. And the reason you use the ATM or the modium uh, axe, again, unbreakable. So these two never have to be replaced. I like that. I like that we could do that. There we go. So now that's got power. That's got power. Perfect. We can actually program this as well. So let's do it. So pattern provider. I think at one point I tried to do this and it just didn't work. But that was like at the start of all the mods nine when Endrio actually made a comeback. So if you didn't know, Endrio took a little break and wasn't in like a bunch of versions. But one of my favorite mods from back in the day. Obviously, there's a bit of power creep and a few a few mods have um, sort of outclassed Endrio right now, but I don't think it's super, super outclassed. Now, do I do I do this and set it up just how it is right here? Uh, what is it? Solarium ingots and then silicon goes there and goes there. And then what was the last bit? Redstone. There you go. I don't know why. I always like to set it up like that. I don't know if we could have done it the other way and it would have been fine. But can we get a Z logic controller now? We're missing a zombie head. How have we not got a zombie head? What? How the flipping heck do we not have a zombie head? I'm not doing the thingy right there. Uh, do we have any skeleton heads? We do. Okay, we can use the evil craft method then. I think that's, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So this is where the uh, infinite blood from the MMM thing comes in handy. Because, uh, yeah, you can just use blood for everything. Evil crafty. There we go. Thank go. Right. Z logic. Oh, I'm actually going to, yeah, I'm going to go back to base for this one. Because I want to see it working. Go. Aha, it did it. It actually put it in the right place. Oh, oh, amazing. Look at that. <laughs> nice. So we can now use this for a filter, apparently. The soul binder, which is what we want to be using it for. Get rid of all of these. And we need this as well. Oh, wow. We actually need like a ton of this. Let's just make a hundred. So why not? It is going through quicker than I would like, but I think it's okay. I didn't just pop into creative mode to get myself all of my emeralds back because it also disappeared again. Yeah, no, that didn't happen, I swear. Um, so, yeah, let's get all of those emeralds because this has got something that I fancied. So, right, here we go. That should be... The only thing we need now is the empty soul vial. Empty... Empty... Soul vial, and we can go right click this on a enderman. Oh wow, that's taken a while. Why did you take? Oh, oh okay, yeah, fair enough. There you go. So I'm gonna pop this one right here, and we're gonna get the. Well, first off, needs a capacitor, needs a gate, and we will program not program this one in at all. I don't think. I don't think we need to. It's funny how all of these have got the uh, the like new look to them. And then this one doesn't. <laughs> what about this one? Yeah, even this one has the new look. And there's me with the soul binder. Ah, oh, poo, I just remembered. Don't we need like to get experience into this? Hmm. There's an experience pylon, right? Experience pylon. Oh, yes, there is. Yes, we want this. It's this thing. Experience obelisk. Ooh, okay, I'm going to make this. This thing is insanely cool. You can store all of your levels like we've been wanting to for ages. Everyone keeps asking, like, 
How do I, uh, how do I save my levels? And you've not been able to until recently. Well, until this, basically. So if I do this, and then we do this. Stick that there. And I can do store all of my levels. There we go. And I can also say push into this. So this has now got a ton of levels. And say pull as well. There we go. XP juice. Love it. Right. I need to use this on an Enderman. If only we knew somewhere. Oh, we don't have any levels. I love it. So funny. Right. We can get retrieve one level. Oh, wow. Okay. We need quite a lot then. There you go. Right. So we're going to go. That's the end portal. Flipping neck. The end. There you go. Job done. So, yeah, now we can use the Enderman with one of these vibrant crystals. Vibrant crystal. Oh, I didn't teach it that. All right. There we go. Now you can make me a vibrant crystal. I will go back and I'll, I'll teach it. Stick this in here. And we've got enough levels because it's it's using the levels right here. I might do this every so often. When I've got like over 30 levels, I'll come back here and I'll store all of my levels. And that got us the Star for Traveling. Although I forgot to make these two. And this is going to be another flipping... Oh, I just put my time wand away. This is going to be another inventory slot taken up. Because I love the travel stuff. Watch this as well. It's like... I can hear something just out here. You can zip through walls. That's so cool. Oh, missed. <laughs> eh. Love it. And then we can also go over to the island. Just like that. Let's go to the sub. Oh, no. Let's go reactor. How cool is that? Right. I am going to put these everywhere. And I think I've got all of the ones that I wanted to do. Or maybe I'll put one out for the mystical thing that I have up here. I could put one over here. This, by the way, is not really doing anything. I don't even have this. Oh, wow. Okay. There's a bunch of insanium for us. Why not? <laughs> That's just one B as well right there. Uh, Right, anyway. Uh, So now what we can do is... Let's go SPS. Yeah, so we're pottering around having a look at the SPS. Lovely stuff. Oh, we want to go over to our mystical setup. And now we're over here. And our Ars Nouveau is right over here. It's like, oh, actually, let's go to the mining portal. Looking. Oh, actually, before we do anything, I want to have a look, see how. Okay. I want to see how well our quarry is going. It's not really done much, has it? I was just got onto the stone area. Brilliant. How much um dirt do we have right now? Oh, that's actually pretty good. It's not too bad, is it? Right, and now I want to go to my bees area. Here's my bees area. Uh let's go to the evil craft area. And there it is. This is probably stopped, by the way. Yeah, it's got a curse. Nope, not that. I want to put this in here. Yeah, this happens every so often. I, I might do something about it. I don't know if I can be bothered, if I'm honest. I think it's fine to every so often just... Oh, what was that that we just got? That looked interesting. Oh, it was a deep slate version of something. Anyway, let's uh, let's pop back to base, let's say. So, where is base? Wait, there it is. That's the SPS. Did I, did I forget to... Oh, no, there's the sub. There you go. And another thing I can do is I can go down like this. Go back up. <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop now. Um, yeah, that was the main goal that I wanted to get from the staff. Well, from Endryo. <laughs> and I think next episode what we'll do is probably go into industrial foregoing. And before we end the episode, there is a thing that I need to do. And that is because we can now do... The dragon soul. So 
if I go, where is it? Dragon Soul? That one. Why am I not allowed to do that? Oh, because I don't have the inactive Dragon Egg. <laughs> okay, that's the easy one. Dragon Soul! Da 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 da! Oh, we can make like a bunch of these as well. Okay. Okay, that's pretty good. Nice. Good stuff. Right, so we got ourselves the Dragon Soul. We got ourselves the Star for Travelling so we can annoy everyone by uh, zipping out like that. Oh, I'm actually inside the wall right now. There you go. This is super, super handy. I love this thing. Now we're at the mystical area. That's always been a pain to get to. And now we're at the Rs area. Oh, this is so useful. Right, anyway, I'll stop messing about with that. Kind of. Nice, right. I'm going to call it here because uh, that was quite a lot we did right there with uh, Ender.io. Gotta love a bit of Ender.io. There's loads of other stuff that we can do with it. Uh, it's got a really cool, like, cable mechanic. And you know what? I'm going to go make some cables real quick and then we'll come back and end the episode off. Right, we are going to show off the different types of conduits. And as soon as I put it down, it didn't work. <laughs> Apparently, you're not allowed to use the conduit. Apparently, that's a conduit bundle. Okay, this is still a bit new. Let's just put that out there. Uh, yeah, what I wanted to do was place a bunch of these in the same area, but it doesn't look like it's working right now, unfortunately. There's a conduit bundle. Conduit bundle. Ah, that's a... Sh oh, wait, no, this one worked. You have to, like, actually click it on there, don't you? Interesting. Okay. So, what we've got here, if we put that one in there, and we'll get, like, I don't know, item... And redstone as well. So we can put redstone and item. And we could also put, I don't know, what, what was that one? That was the, the fluid. Fluid on this one as well. Yeah. So what this is doing here is we've got multiple things in the same block. Right? So that's power, items, redstone, which you can like program. You, well, you can use like redstone signals and stuff with. There's an ME conduit right there, which is cool because it connects up to uh, Applied Energistics. In fact, let's get a cable from Applied Energistics and I'll show you that. There you go. Let's connect it up. We've also got... What's that one? The chemical conduit. So that's for, uh, like, mechanism, for example. And... Then the final one there, I think, is the fluid one, which is the ender fluid one, which transfers, like, pretty quickly. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, there you go. And you can have them all in the same block, meaning it makes cabling ridiculously simple throughout your base. So there you go. I wanted to just show those off because they are so good, honestly. Um, although, saying that, I do tend to do stuff wirelessly nowadays, so it's might not be as useful as it used to be let's just say that anyway right let's call it here i think so uh you know what i could have done there if i was over here for example i could have just done oh look let's pop back to the sub and then i can turn around and we could do this there we go <laughs> love it right let's call it so thank you for watching thanks for joining and i will see you in the next one bye before we do statistics, I just want to say next episode is going to be world download episode. So I want to do something big because 75 episodes is quite a lot. And we're getting there now. We've got like quite a lot of mods and we've even got this, this flipping dragon soul now. So two out of what, nine or is it 10? I think it's two out of nine. We're done now with the ATM star. So all good. Anyway, right. Statistics. Let's have a look. We are currently at 10.11.